Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and today's video, we're gonna be looking at Bardstown. Okay, you guys know I'm a Bardstown fan, if you watch the channel. There's a lot of Bardstown bottles back there. I love the Origin series, uh, especially the Rye. Uh, I loved the Foursquare, Foursquare collab on their collaborative series with the Rum Barrels. The Discovery Series 8 from last year was one of my top bottles of the year. So, ain't no surprise, I'm a fan. But this time, what we have is a single barrel, okay? So this is sort of new for Bardstown, right? Because for the longest time, they were sourcing whiskey. They were buying other people's whiskey and, you know, bottling it themselves, barreling it, bottling it, etc. But this is different, okay? So now they've started to put some of their own juice in bottles this year with the Origin Series. That's all their own distillate. And then now we have, this is a single barrel, so it's not like a blend of anything. This is obviously, since it's a single barrel, it's one mash bill. Okay, that mash bill is 60% corn, 36% rye, and 4% malted barley. It is six years old, and it is, um, obviously it was aged there on their properties, in their warehouses, and this is what intrigued me about this specific uh, barrel. This is Rick House B, floor six. I've talked a lot about how I want to do a, a warehouse influence video. You know, I've done the... Um, the barrel influence video, what the, the barrel contributes to the uh, final product. And I wanna do a uh, warehouse influence as well, what the warehouse can do, where you put it in the warehouse, the climate, the temperature, all that stuff, how that affects the final product, that juice that you're drinking. This is what we call high and dry. So in the business, uh, the way that, especially in Kentucky, in those Kentucky summers, that heat rises to the upper floors. This is on floor six. So this baby had some heat. Okay, this is a high and dry whiskey. I'm excited to dive into this. As I'm cracking this open, two things I want to mention first. Number one, I would love if you enjoy any of these videos, if you could do me a favor and hit the like button, that's like one of the best ways for a channel to grow, is um, you drive up that engagement. If people are enjoying the video, they like it, they leave a comment, those, those sorts of types of things. They drive up engagement and make the video get out there for more people to see it. The algorithm will pick it up and say, hey, we should probably put this in front of some more people because people are liking it. So that's helpful. Love that sound. Second thing, I am going to be doing a virtual tasting with our Patreon supporters. So I'm gonna be picking up a few different bottles. I think I'm gonna shoot for at least three, maybe four. I'll uh, bottle up those samples into vials and uh, we'll make sure we have a secure way of getting your mailing information and sending those boxes out to you with those samples. We'll set a date. And then we'll do a live tasting together in our uh, Discord. So, if you want to be a part of that, that's for the Patreon supporters. Uh, there's three different tiers of Patreon supporters. There's $5, $10, $25. And uh, that's how we pick up these bottles to do reviews of, is uh, you guys fund them via the Patreon. So if that's something you want to be involved in, there's a link to the Patreon in the description. Also, I made a post linking our new Discord as well. Sorry, housekeeping stuff. Oh boy. This is 125 proof. It's got some heat on it. Now I do have to give a shout out to Thomas Soros who procured this bottle. Uh, it's not anywhere near me, so he picked one up for me and sent it on over. Thanks so much, Thomas, appreciate it. High and dry, all that evaporative loss that uh, drives up the proof, right? In that barrel in the warehouse. On that nose, I'm getting lots of honey. Dry tannic oak. A kind of earthy herbal quality in there as well. Maybe even a little bit of like brownie batter on the nose too. That's a great nose. Let's go in on it. On that palate, the first thing that I get is that honey sweetness, but it doesn't linger on sweet. It really rapidly transitions into those uh, bitter chocolate notes, dark chocolate, that brownie note. And because of that high rye content in the mash bill, there's plenty of spice accompanying it all the way through. And that finish is that dry tannic oak. But it's not dry that it, it dries your mouth out. If, uh, I don't know if you can see this on the glass, but it is leaving a very thick, viscous, oily coating all along the glass. You can see that, I think, on the camera. Look at that. Those thick runs coming down the side of the glass. It's clinging to it. And that's helping that finish linger a bit, that dry tannic oak and some of those bitter chocolate notes. Yeah, those are the two things that stand out the most about this, this pour, is that dry tannic oak 
along with that brownie taste, those rich dark chocolates, and a healthy dose of spice just all along through it, sort of framing it. Well, it definitely doesn't disappoint. It's a really delicious pour. Sometimes I really want something with some extra punch, some heat to it. Reminds me of like a dry red wine in that regard, you know? It's got those lingering tannins that stick around. It gives you, a, you know, something a little more earthy, something with a little more kapow to it. Mm. If you were gonna buy a single barrel uh, bottle of this, you're probably looking at around 80 bucks, by the way. But now we gotta give this thing a rating on my scale. I think for me, this is gonna land at around a 7.3. This is really good. I like it quite a bit. If you ever see a Bardstown single barrel uh, that a store is doing a pick, near you, I'd say it's probably worth picking one of these up and having it on your shelf. But it's probably not for the faint of heart. If that's packing some heat and those flavors are not like really palatable, really just delicate, gentle flavors. No, these are some deep, dark, rich, earthy, herbal, uh, bitter chocolate notes. So it might not be for everybody, but I certainly do enjoy it. Thanks again, Thomas, for picking this up for me. I appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to get involved in our Discord. Uh, in that Discord group, we can share pictures and comments on what we're currently drinking, what we're currently enjoying, and making recommendations for each other. So make sure you get in on that. I'll try to leave a link to that in the uh, pinned comment. Cheers! May you live richly and get better with age. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.